Welcome back, MVP Strubo here with you from Mutantville.com. And I thought I was well overdue for giving you an update as to what's been happening in the world of MVP. Now, when we last spoke, um, I was in the middle of attending both Con Carolina's convention and the Heroes Con. And uh, let's see what happened. Oh, Devil Comes Down went on to win Best Horror Film at the Con Carolina's Film Festival. There's our awesome little trophy there. Thank you for that. Um, I picked up an awesome art print from Bernie Wrightson. This is from his Frankenstein collection. I love the dramatic lighting here, the Chiascaro lighting. Um, beautiful, beautiful work. I was able to get that framed. Of course, I talked to Steve Niles as well. Had him autograph a copy of his new book, Mystery Society. Have that framed here with an autographed copy of Simon Dark Number 1. Good, good stuff. I think... Um, Niles, in my opinion, is probably the best horror writer working in comic books today, and he's making transition into movies and video games. He's actually writing Fear 3 with John Carpenter. He supposedly wrote a script for John Carpenter for uh, um, a movie. I'm not sure if it ever got developed, um, and so on and so forth. But anyway, it's been totally crazy since then. I wouldn't say I've had horror burnout. There, there hasn't been a whole lot going on in the horror world. Splice did come out, but I've just been so busy, I, I haven't had a chance to get out and see it. I mean, um, in the weeks since the convention, I had to shoot a pickup scene for Ghost involving the main character and a couple more characters. Um, we, sh we had our first big shoot for Respawner. It was actually a little shoot, but it was the first shoot for Respawner this past weekend. Um, I helped take stills on the set of Michael Sharp's um, short horror film, Monomaniacal. Had an absolute blast doing that. This coming weekend, we're going to have a massive shoot on Respawner filled with lots of action, lots of effects. And I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'm going to be helping out behind the scenes. Brent Bowers, my uh, co-owner, one of the co-owners here at Mutantville Productions, is actually writing and directing that. So I'm going to be offering support in other ways. Um, so... Uh, Lots of crazy things going on. I just took kind of a little hiatus from the internet just because you know real life is kind of taking over. And plus, I've had people tell me that we update things too much, that we put too much information out there. And uh, I really don't know what to say to that. Uh, other than, you know, I have, you know what, what do you want me to say? Uh, we're, we're trying to get people interested. We're trying to put information out there. So anyway, before I digress, I thought I would go over my Fangoria collection for you. Um, speaking of Fangoria, I still have to shoot my videos for my Q&A session. Thank you to everyone that submitted questions. I apologize sincerely from the bottom of my heart for not shooting the answer videos yet, but I have, I've have got to do them old school. I need to record them and edit them and then upload them. And I just have not had time. There's just too many crazy things going on. And uh, when I shoot these YouTube direct cam uploads, they always lose like the last minute of my video. So I don't want to run the, ri the risk of shooting a Q&A video and then losing part of it. So as a consolation surprise, surprise, excuse me, I thought I would go over my Fangoria collection. So without further ado, here I am three and a half minutes in. I haven't even shown you one magazine yet, and I've got a stack of them here. So let's get down to it. Halloween 5. Nightmare on Elm Street 3. That's one of the giveaways, by the way. Bloody Best of Fangoria. I think this is one of the giveaways. I'm going to try to adjust for the glare there. Jason Behind the Mask. It's Friday 5, obviously. Fangoria 100. That's a giveaway issue. Night of the Living Dead. I actually gave one of these away at the premiere of Devil Comes Down at the Carolina Theater for... Um, the opening night, the advanced screening of George A. Romero's Survival of the Dead, which I really, really enjoyed, and all the haters that didn't like it. Eh, up yours. Uh, Rob Boutin and the effects of The Thing. Check that out. Pumpkinhead. Fangoria 250. It's got uh, The Hills Have Eyes there across the bottom. What is that? That's Blade Trinity, I think. Eh, something. Terror of the Mutant. It's all around you. Twilight Zone. Scary. Ah, here we go. Amityville 3D. That's one 3D I've never seen. I would have liked to have seen that old um, flick back in the day. My cats are in there making noise. 
Sorry for the distraction. The Psycho remake. Boo on that. Predator, which was a totally awesome flick. And I'm actually looking forward to the upcoming Predators movie. Fangoria 25, Videodrome. I actually got to see Videodrome in the theater recently, um, about in the past month, maybe last month, at the uh, Carolina Theater for one of their Retro Phantasma showings. Awesome showing, great crowd, had a fantastic time. Oh, I already showed you that one. That must be another giveaway. Bloody best. I think that's another giveaway. Poltergeist 2, which is good, but not as good as Toby Hooper's classic. The British Tom Savini. Nightmare 5. Prophecy. That is Fangoria number 2 right there. Fango number 2. Bloody Best of Fangoria Volume 1. Check that out. You can see image from Friday Part 2 right there. Cool stuff. Oh, there's uh, Altered States at the bottom. Uh, I can't take too long here. There's the uh, Cropsy cover from The Burning. Actually, Michael Sharp and I were talking about this actual issue on uh, the set of Monomaniacal this past weekend. A fit of Fear. Spasms! I think I have two of those, so I'm going to give one away. Now, oh, here's another one I gave away. Day of the Dead, Tom Savini. With Dr. Tongue on the cover there. Is he Dr. Tongue or is it Mr. Tongue? <laughs> I don't know, but uh, that's an awesome effect. I gave one of these away at the uh, Devil Comes Down screening with uh, that played before George A. Romero's. Survival of the Dead. There's Vampires. Highly underrated film. Return of the Living Dead with Tom Matthews, who was recently interviewed by the guys over at DeadPit.com for one of their May of the Dead episodes, so definitely go check that out. Good stuff there. Fangoria number 6 with Empire Strikes Back. There's 3PO and R2 on the cover. Fangoria number 3, Christopher Lee. John Carpenter's Prince of Darkness. It's another giveaway issue. The Lost Boys. Oh, there's the Spasms. As I said, that's a giveaway. Here we go. Lucio Fulci Zombie. Oh, I love that Flower Pot Zombie. That's an awesome one. That's, I, Fulci just had the sweetest zombie effects. Up until Day of the Dead, his were the best, in, in my humble opinion. Uh, here we go. More Fulci Madness. The Gates of Hell. There's old... Uh, free, what's his name? No, I don't know. He's got so many different names. But anyway, uh, Gates of Hell, Catriona McCall, the Dead Pit guys at deadpit.com just interviewed her for May of the Dead, so definitely go check that out. Poltergeist. Da -da 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 -da, poltergeist. Da -da -da -da. Toby Hooper's one of his other masterpieces. Love that flick. Friday 13th, A New Beginning. Tales from the Crypt. Santa slays again. Now that's probably one of the seminal Tales from the Crypt episodes, one that everybody remembers. Oh, here's a cool Army of Darkness cover. Okay, I'm actually running out of time. About at the nine minute mark. Although these are supposed to be ten minute videos, YouTube, I guarantee you, will drop the last minute of this video. So you will not see anything I do after the nine minute mark, which is twenty seconds away. So I guess I'm gonna have to shoot two of these. So there is Dead Heat. And there's Critters 2. There's one for you, Critter fan. <laughs> uh, there's Horror Show with Brian James. It's a cool thing on the cover. A zombie. I mean, on the uh, back cover. Zombies. Undead or Alive. Total Recall. With Arnold. Okay, we're at nine minutes now. So, I'm not going to go any further. I'm going to go ahead and break this into two minutes. In, I mean, into two videos. And... I'm just going to kill the last minute of this video by showing you stuff from what I've already shown you. So we don't end up losing anything. That's the back cover of the Arnold issue. Let's see if there's anything cool inside. Well, eye popping action. Pretty cool. And there's nostril popping action. <laughs> just say no to drugs, kids. That's what cocaine, sniffing cocaine does to you. Oh, reinventing gremlins. Is that Mark Showstrom? I think that is Mark Shostrom. Perhaps I'm mistaken. I haven't read that article. Uh, there's some guys operating gremlins right there. Check that out. So anyway, 